There's a double standard, and the double standard is going to stop in the state of Nevada. That's Nevada Governor Steve Sislak in a heated moment during a news conference Friday morning. When someone asked about the recent protest outside the governor's mansion in Carson City, the protesters there were calling for the state to reopen. Those militia members, whatever you want to call them, carrying AR-15s and AK-47s, if these young black men that were out here protesting would have been doing that in the past few days, what do you think would have happened? The governor was joined by state leaders who say the demonstrations are not the same. The right to protest under these circumstances is something that was, has been afforded to white folks who want to reopen Nevada, and they're now being afforded to, to black individuals who are protesting the fact that black lives matter. Sisolak highlighted the major crises Nevadans are dealing with right now, all in the time span of 90 days. The global COVID-19 pandemic, the unprecedented economic crisis, and for years. As a white man, a privileged white man, I cannot claim to understand what it's like to live in fear of police encounters. The most recent protests follow the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Sislak said he's been listening to the black community in our state. But as governor of the state of Nevada, it is my duty to help shepherd forward change on behalf of all Nevadans. And that should and will include policy change at the state level. Police officers have an annual physical that they have to go through. Maybe we should add an annual psyche valve. Assemblywoman Danielle Monroe Moreno has an idea for the police departments, but she says it's not just policy changes we need. It starts in our homes. We have to change the way we treat each other. Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford wants police departments to form better relationships with the black community. He'll be holding a series of panels called Justice and Injustice in hopes of doing just that.